Alright, hey guys, um, I'm making this tutorial video on how to show you how to show you how to make a duct tape flower. That'll look like that. Like those. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's go over some supplies. What you're gonna need is you're gonna need an X Acto knife, a pipe cleaner, just any color, it doesn't really matter. Um, scissors, floral wire. <laughs> Really thin floral wire, preferably. Yeah. <laughs> and wire cutters. Okay. The colors, duct, the color duct tape I'm going to be using is green, black, and yellow. Um, I have some yellow being used right now, so I, I can't show you that right yet, but um, I'm going to be making a sunflower, so the middle is going to be black, and then the petals are going to be yellow, and then the stem, obviously, is going to be green. Okay, right. so what you want to do for this stem is you want to measure your pipe cleaner. Mine is roughly 11 inches, so then you want to cut a strip of green duct tape 11 inches long. Um, lay the pipe cleaner down and then just roll the pipe cleaner in the duct tape. So it'll look like this. So it's a pipe cleaner covered in duct tape. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't don't worry if it's not perfect. Okay. Um, now what you want to do is uh, next you're going to take your middle color, which is for mine it's black because on my um, flower the inside part right here, the little tiny petals, are black, and that's the inside of the uh, sunflower. So, I'm going to be using that. So, let's get a strip of black here. Shoot. If it wants to peel, that would be nice too. There we go. Alright, I want to take a decent long piece, cut it. This is the tedious part. I mean, it gets really tedious, but that's okay. Alright, you're going to cut it, take the exacto knife and then cut it in half. Lines don't have to be perfectly straight, my lines are never straight. Um, then just cut it in sections, like this. Like that. <clears throat> then next what you want to do is you want to peel up one of your sections. It should be, I don't know, two inches long and about an inch wide or so. Something like that. And then you want to fold the right or left top corner down like that and then flip it over and then leave a little bit of sticky part here and fold it down like that. So there you go. There's your first inside pebble. Now, you keep doing that for me it's right corner down, right corner down, left corner over, so there's another one. And you want to keep doing that until you have a lot of little, little petals um, for the inside of your flower. Depending on, now depending on how um, big you want your flower is going to constitute how many petals are going to be on the inside because the more petals you have on the inside the wider the flower will be so uh, for me I'm just gonna do um, one strip of duct tape and then all the little sections in between it so that it's just uh, that's my perfect little way to do it I guess <laughs> I don't really know um, So, right corner down, left corner over, and then like that. So, um. Oh yeah, and I should probably mention that your pipe cleaner should be at least 7 inches long because... It 
it looks a lot better because anything below seven inches isn't like you can make it like that like if you're making a pen but if you're making as many petals as I'm making for the flower it doesn't look great <laughs> it looks kind of lopsided so okay I'm not going to use the whole strip of duct tape because I don't really need to but all right so the next step is you take the petals that you just made and you wrap it around very firmly around the stem so it looks like that I know this doesn't look anything like a flower yet, but it will. And then you want to continue doing that, not in the same place, because if you put it in the same place, it would just look really weird. So, so far it looks like this. And then you want to just keep wrapping around the petals in the empty gaps between the other petals until you have the inside of the flower. Mine usually aren't really big metals, I guess, because they, I don't know, they just aren't. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's my happy medium. You can make that as wide as you want. Like, I'm probably gonna add a few more to it. I'm just gonna add like three more to it. Just to fill in the empty gaps and stuff. So, yeah. <coughs> I'm just gonna add a few more real quick. Now, if this is your first time making a duct tape flower, don't rush it because if you do, it's gonna. Could turn out like really good you could be really happy with it but I mean I, rem I remember the first time I made my first flower and it didn't look great <laughs> I mean it was my first time so that's okay and then you know practice makes perfect so our practice actually makes better but you know you know that dealio <clears throat> there so there's the inside of my flower Now for the petals. The yellow petals, um, usually you want to make the strip, uh, you want to cut a piece of, well for me it's yellow duct tape around mm, 12 inches long or so, maybe, I don't know, 11, 12 inches, and then you want to slice it down the middle, or cut it down the middle, not slice it, what am I thinking? Um, and then cut it in half. So down the middle and then in half. And try not to cut yourself in ex with an exacto knife because it hurts. <laughs> I mean, you could also take a piece of duct tape, I guess, like, and not cut if you didn't have an exacto knife. Um, you can, you can even like cut like before I, I cut it. You could just take it and rip it in half and then rip it in half again. But I mean. Exacto knife makes it look a little more smoother. Or you could even use a box cutter. Box cutters work too, the little tiny box cutters. I used that before I got my exacto knife. Alright. Um now for the floral wire. You take a piece of floral wire about half as long as your um piece of duct tape. So mine's like right there. So you wanna take your wire cutters. Scissors work too, but wire cutters work more efficiently. Cut the wire. There we go. And then lay it flat on there. It doesn't have to be straight, trust me. That straight. It doesn't have to be straight. Alright. My wire is a little too short, so but that's okay. I just have to remeasure and recut. And do that process over again. <clears throat> you don't want to make it too long because you need a little bit of the, the adhesive um, on so you can actually stick the petal to the flower. Because what would it be if you couldn't stick it? So it'll look like that. Like fold it down. And then you want to take your scissors and then just cut out a petal like shape. I'm really bad at cutting out petals, but 
That's okay. Petals aren't perfect. There. Gosh. Looks so bad. Alright, that's okay. So it'll look like that. And then you want to do that over and over and over again until you have what you think is enough petals. I'll do a few more. I'll do another example. <clears throat> Alright. Now, get your floral wire. Measure about half of it. And then... Cut it. Lay it flat. And there you go. Now you cut out a petal shape to it. So it'll look like that. And there you go. There's your petal. Alright. I'm not going to do any more petals for now because I have some pre-made. So then you're going to take your stem and your inside of your petal and you're going to stick this on it like that. But I mean, as we all know, petals aren't straight up. They're a little bit curved. So you want to just take your thumb and your index finger and just drag it along like that so it's curved like that. So there's your first petal. You want to repeat the process until all your petals are used up or until you think your flower is full enough. Every petal can be a different size. It looks a little bit different. Whoops. <laughs> it looks a little bit different, but that's okay. So it'll look like this, and then you want to just curve your petal back, so it'll look like that. You can add a lot more petals. As you can see, I have two more. You can add however many you want. I usually do around maybe seven or eight petals, so I can fill in these gaps right here, but you can do however many you want. Like, I mean, this looks pretty just as it is, you know? Like, it looks perfect. And you can use these on pens. You can put them on pens. Just wrap the pen in duct tape instead of a pipe cleaner. And obviously leave room for the cap. Um, I'll probably be doing a video on that. I don't know. Sometime later. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So that's how you make a duct tape flower. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you later.